My first Mac ever was this early 2005 PowerBook G4. Back in its day, this was a machine to be reckoned with, but these are not its days. This is 2018, 13 years after its release. How's it coping? Let's find out. The display is only 720p, but it's not as bad as you might imagine. Text is clear, and viewing angles aren't bad for a TN panel. The I.O. is fantastic, and still holds up pretty well. On the right side, we've got a DVI port, S-Video, Gigabit Ethernet, Firewire 800 and 400, as well as USB 2.0. On the left is the power connector, 56K modem, a second USB 2.0 port, a mic jack, headphone jack, and the PC card expansion slot. The front is home to the DVD drive and the lid latch. As usual, the top is adorned with the iconic glowing apple. The trackpad is a bit on the small side, but it's accurate and it supports two-finger scrolling. The keyboard is another strong point. The keys are well-spaced, backlit, and overall it's one of the best typing experiences I think I've ever had. The PowerBook runs the latest supported version of OS X, which is Leopard, on a 1.67 GHz G4 chip, backed up by 1.5 GB of RAM. Graphics are handled by the Radeon 9700 with 64 megs of VRAM. Taking a look at how this hardware performs, we'll start out with Geekbench. As you can see, it scores a mere 915, but for the time, that was nearing the G5 territory, and it was seriously impressive. Testing the graphics card with OpenMark, we get a score of 4867. To put that into comparison, a G4 6600 Apple's desktop GPU at the time, scores 5484. Coming over to some gaming, we've got Castle Wolfenstein here, running at 1024 by 768 at about low to medium settings, and we're seeing consistent frame rates into the 40s. And Cube 2 Sarbroughton, one of my favorite power PC games, runs flawlessly at native resolution with medium to high settings. Moving over to some more day-to-day -day tasks, stuff like web browsing is starting to become an exercise in futility, although it greatly depends on the website. YouTube in the web browser is completely unusable, and Apple's own website doesn't even load for me in Safari. But at least the fading luxury that is DVDs works quite well. I can get through about two movies per battery charge. For those looking for a budget Mac, I'll be honest, look elsewhere. But all things considered, I can't really think of any PCs from 2005 that hold up nearly this well. Do you still have a PowerPC Mac? What do you use it for? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>